Welcome to another episode. Let's start this episode with a bang. Whoa. Oh no. We also have an unwanted guest come aboard. We just got back in the dinghy and we drove all the way back to our boat and Lee just went to press the button off and <laughs> he's grabbed something that didn't feel right. And um, the stop button started moving. And there is a We are an Australian family that made our boat Catalpa our home and set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us in our travels as we share our life on the sea. So these are our fireworks from how long ago? Two years ago? <laughs> that we never lit on New Year's. May or may not work. Don't point it yeah, at point anyone. Point it at the beat. <laughs> Don't point at our boat. We already had driving cars. On top. What if you like them? Faster, old man! One. You want to light one bell? Stand over it and as soon as it sparkles. Run, Forrest, run! Yeah, they'll run faster you than you anyway. Oh, oh, go. Run! <laughs> <laughs> it didn't go. <laughs> oh, it's a fizzer. Oh. Every time. Oh no. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. 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 Wow. Oh. So that's all the fireworks and they're just gonna burn burn all the leftovers. Hopefully one isn't not lit. <laughs> it's so good, bang. <laughs> Don't light, like run away when you light it, honey. We have been living off the grid with our new mates on SV Nalakai here in the beautiful East Java. internet but we have surf when they're swell. Clear water, deserted beaches and plenty of fish. Our days are spent mostly in the water spearing or freediving. strong current so the boys are drifting. Um, we anchored up because we thought that they could kind of spear around here but there's really strong current and um, Matt's drifting in their boat and Taj just got a cray. So they're looking for crays, they're on the hunt for crays now. Look at those waves down there. The 
There's no one around except the friendly local fishermen that come over for chats, coffee and stand-up paddleboard lessons. We met these guys at Christmas and they like to have a visit on their way to go fishing. There's plenty to do and in all our days here we are super grateful for this life we live on the sea. We're going over to Nalakai tonight. We're having Mexican. Bella's just making up some of her famous tortillas. They look good. And we'll uh, whip up some Mexican salad and nachos and daddy caught fish. Finally. Speared this fish today. What is it? It's a perch. And I've just stuffed it with some uh, onion, garlic and lime and put some taco seasoning on top. I don't know if that's how that's going to go, but I just figured that that'd be nice. <laughs> we wrap it up, so whack it on the barbecue. We've got some Mexican salad and avocados. Okay, we've been at, on another boat for dinner. And we just got back in the dinghy and we drove all the way back to our boat and Lee just went to press the button off and <laughs> he's grabbed something that didn't feel right and um the stop button started moving and there is a snake wrapped around our outboard and it's just sitting there it's not a sea snake um we don't know what it is, I but think it's a python. I'm sitting there trying to turn it off, and I'm like, this feels funny. And then I've looked down, and I'm like, what the? Holy bloody hell! It's sat there the whole time. It was right next to you, honey, that whole time driving over. I can't believe he was over the button. And, and I'm like, going, I can't turn it off. <laughs> and I'm squashing him. And I thought that was the button, because he's soft. And um, this fellow's just sitting there next to my um, stop switch. And then I've looked, and I'm like, I'm pressing on this snake, and I'm like, oh! You fully jumped. I had no idea. I was so slow to react. Everyone jumped out. Uh, he's a python. He's harmless. How do we know he's not a deadly one, though? We don't know, so just be careful. He's a python for sure. I reckon he's a little diamond-headed child's python or whatever they call them. The thing is, whatever we do here now, we've got to be careful because if he goes loose, he can go up this and then we'll have him on the boat and all the rest of it. So I think there's two things we do. We either capture him and we release him on the beach or we just chuck him in the water. No, and hope he just he... swim up the thing. But he can't climb up the boat. What? Who says? The only part he can get up is the anchor chain. So He's awesome. got his eye on me, eh? It wasn't aggressive though when I turned the motor off. We're about to extract this snake from the tender. Dory doesn't want to go to sleep with this snake in her tonight, so we're going to get rid of this thing. First things first, we're going to get it into the bag. I don't really want to put it back in the water because there's a good chance it could go up our anchor chain or try and cl climb back into the boat somehow. So we might just try and put him back on the shore. Let's work it up like that. We have the bag in position. I'm going to get my other assistant here that you can't actually see in the background, which is Taj. And he's going to give me a little extra light. Oh guys, we come from the land down under and there's one of these under every dunny lid. Oh, nice, honey. Is 
he stuck? Oh, he's just holding on. There we go. We got him into the bag, just like that, guys. Problem is, I want to get off the gas. Feeling a little bit agitated now. Give me a little hiss. There we go. Off the gaff. Light, light, different direction. He's standing up down here. I can't see him. There you have it guys, snake in a bag. <laughs> now what are you gonna do? I'm going to bed, I'm tired. No, you can't leave it in there, it'll die. All right, so we're just going over to let this little snake free, away from our boat. Because <laughs> we don't want it on our boat. <laughs> We're over at the beach and Lee's gonna let our little friend go. <laughs> I just got him so good. Oh, I got him so oh, good. He screamed. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't press record. Oh man, I just threw the bag at him and he screamed. Oh, I just felt this thing on my leg and it sounded like a hiss. <laughs> You're a little jumpy, aren't you? Yeah, I've just been handling a snake. <laughs> you did really well, by the way. I didn't want to hurt it. And it didn't bite you and it, you just touched it, so. Um, I, I'd call it a pipe and like, I'm pretty sure like a deadly snake, I was I was pressing the uh, stop button, which was its head, and it didn't bite me. Um, it was pretty, it was pretty dope. It's pretty placid. placid. Look at this water. Oh, let's have a night swim. It's so beautiful. It's action on the surface. We just saw a turtle. <laughs> that was the best god I've ever got him. <laughs> Can you reenact it? All I did was I threw this and I went, Woo! Snake! And he jumped! But I asked him not to do it to me and he did, so that's why I got him. That I was. The snake was it was gone. karma. No, it wasn't gone, it was on the oh, beach. Yeah, you were looking at it. I was standing on the beach. Yeah, it was fine. Yeah. All right, we're back to a snake-free home. Hopefully, hopefully he doesn't have any friends. God, I'm gonna be nervous now. Could have been under a floor. Could have been. We don't know where it was. Anyway, good job, honey. Make sure you like, subscribe, you know all the things. And now uh, we'll uh, see you real soon. Leo, I'm signing out. Thank you guys so much for watching that episode. Please like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Well, if you're wondering how we get off if nobody pulls you in when your family forgets you're out there, this is how you do it.